What is going on, everybody? Oh my goodness, it is Friday. It is 4 p.m. somewhere, 5 p.m. somewhere, 6 p.m. somewhere, Sweden. We got Turkey in the house, Denmark in the house, VA in the house. So many awesome places. Hello, everybody. Good to see everybody. Lucy in the house, Aiden's in the house, Chewy's in the house. Thanks for being a subscriber. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for being a moderator. Thanks for just being here in general. It is a beautiful Friday morning here in the Pacific Northwest. And my camera decided to work. That's good. It's kept giving me air seven. That sound not good. Seven. That's not good at all. Oh, we got uh, Scotia, uh, Dominican Republic, Manuel in the house, Jose, of course. Good to see you, John. Oh, John, good to see you as well. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, Grish as well. Armenia. Whoa, cool. That's awesome. I just brewed fresh arrow press. Fresh arrow press in the cup. So good to go. Oh, my goodness. It's been a good Friday morning over here. Just waking up. Just gave the dog her medicine. Now it's time to stream. Just for a little bit. We got an hour today just exploring. We got to cut it off right at nine. So one hour uh, as well. It's good to see so many people around the globe. Alexis and Alex, France and Brazil. Whoa, cool. Awesome. Very nice. Um, yeah, I was a little worried uh, because of uh, my camera. I'd never seen that error. So I just unplugged the power and plugged it back in. That seemed to work. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Um, very exciting times. Not only do I have a fresh beautiful cup of coffee in my hand right here but uh i just updated some of my apps so i have my 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 cadence on on my android phone i did some testing i've been using the latest bluetooth plugin which has been working well uh over here and updated the permissions that's been fun as well and i need to update it because i needed to update my in-app billing because on november 1st uh google is going to stop <laughs> allowing anyone to make any money if you don't update to my latest versions, which are now stable for everybody. This is doing, going, going up, going down, going up, going down. It's stable. It's happening. It's all happening. So that's pretty amazing. Oh my goodness. Pavel, Murad, Richard in the chat from the Netherlands. Whoa. I'm going to be in the Netherlands soon. I'm going to be there for Tech Orama. They gave me a whole keynote. Can you believe that? That's bananas. That seems inappropriate. Yes. This is the last of the C Sharp shirts. I bought them and then they, they took down the store. So uh, I don't know. I know the team's working on a new shop dotnet shop hopefully for some time at some point in this in the, in the future loose will be there loose i'll bring a tons of stickers. i'm gonna have so many stickers at techorama and i'm also in poland as well right after that the next week for a dotnet conference as well in um warsaw so if you're in the area we're also gonna do a user group monday night um this is on the october 17th i think the conference is on the 18th it's on the 17th in Poland, I'll be doing a user group over there, which would be quite fun. I don't know. I'll tweet it out at some point, which would be cool. But I will bring some stickers. I wish I could come to so many places. I'm actually going to do a tiny holiday, mini holiday in between. So I've never been to Poland. So and my wife is Polish, so but not from Poland, but Polish. So um, I'm going to we're going to do a little bit of a little bit of time in the Netherlands because we've never been in the Netherlands together. I've been in the Netherlands quite a bit, which is very lovely. Um, we're there so um, yes sweden is a longer trip to sweden is on our list as well but yes uh christian good to see you care good to see you yes here good to see you from bangladesh good to see you as well from vietnam well awesome i love vietnam big fan uh been there once <laughs> but but i uh, did go see some duke langers which was amazing so from romania i lived in romania for a while i was in timashwara whoa from bulgaria well i also went to bulgaria wow so many places i've been to amazing not all the places. It's on my list. Hi, go. Thank you for being a subscriber. Hello from Germany. Oh my goodness. Uh, my wife was teaching me some Polish words. We have a book. I need to. I, I don't know. I took French for a, many years, but you know, I, I don't know anything. Basically, I basically know nothing. Um, but that was like high school. So that was literally eons ago. That was twenty years ago. I'm old. I'm an old soul. From Chile. Whoa, from Argentina. I've also been to Argentina. Fantastic. I need to go back. I need to spend a lot of time in Argentina. My my wife did a study abroad in Argentina back and she was in college. I've not been to the UAE. No, on the list. Oh, my goodness. So good to see everybody. This is amazing. So today what we're going to do is we're going to explore some Donat 7 bits. This has been fun, adventurous time for myself. I was like, I'm always living on the preview edge of Visual Studio. So I'm like, let's just do it i'm in update i i saw david draft the blog so i knew that 2.1 was coming 
So I go, okay, let's let's wait just a, just a tad, just a tad, um, and update. So I waited, and that includes the .NET 7 .NET MAUI workload support, which is pretty cool, which has a bunch of new features. And then additionally, um, everything seemed to work. I had one little problem, which was um, we have a MAUI samples repo, and and there was a global JSON in there. And for some reason, if the global JSON was in there, it, it stopped working for me. Like it couldn't figure out that I was opening .NET 6 project. I thought it wanted to load it with .NET 7. So I just removed that global JSON. And everything seemed to work. So that was interesting. So I reported that to the team. Uh, and then I had some problems with my MS build SDK cross-platform plug-in -y stuff as well. But I also have the normal stable version of Visual Studio 17.3. Uh, as well and everything seems to work again there so i can still do you know not blocks i can do those side by sides which is very nice in case you need that there but totally there uh literally everything asks can you give me a brief hardware and software you use for live streaming i think i have an entire video on my youtube channel uh which is not for live stream but the one that's like creating videos in obs that's the one you want pretty much that's all i use i just use obs and that's it so let me know if the music's too loud at all. I can turn down just a tad bit there. Um, that's it. Yeah, I mean, my computer's real old. Uh, I don't use StreamYard. Caesar asked, do I use StreamYard? We use StreamYard. If Frank and I do the podcast live, we use StreamYard because that's easier to have guests on. Um, at work, for like all the community stand-ups, for a bunch of video recordings, a bunch of other stuff, we, we use StreamYard all the time. For me, live streaming, or like Fritz live streams, uh, he we use OBS, open broadcast software. If I record all my, if I record all my, my YouTube videos are all in OBS. Everything's in OBS. Uh, and my um, machine, let's see here. I can actually, let's do this. Where's my, oh, I need to go to task manager. There's my, you see, oh, look at this. I have my task manager performance. I have a i7-6700, very old. And then I have, I do have 64 gigs of RAM, but as you can see, only 14 are used. And that's it. And I have a hard drive that keeps filling. So that's it. That's it. Right there. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Can you build gaming apps with Maui? Uh, you could. I mean, you could use drawing. There's some game things out there, like Orbit is one. Uh, actually, there's a video on, Luce will probably find it, on .NET Conf, on the .NET YouTube about building games with it. Or you just use Unity too. The idea is like use C sharp, use .NET, right? So it just depends what you're, you're building, but you could, yeah. Anyway, that's what I use there. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I figure what I do today. Remember how last stream we were building that conference app? Um, there's a whole lot of new stuff in the, for um, desktop support and also maps as well in .NET, Maui .NET 7. So that's cool. Uh, so what I think we want to do there is I want to see if I can upgrade that application, upgrade it, go from there and see what happens. And then add some cool desktopy features. Like let's add a map. Let's like put, you know, pretend like we're at a conference somewhere. Maybe it's in the Netherlands. I don't know. And then, uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. There you go. Thanks, Aiden. Boom. Google it. Yes, sir. Says any hope for example, preview without debugging on Android emulator. Probably not. Nope. We had a live previewer, but it's it's a whole hot mess to to do all that stuff in general. You know, like basically basically even Xcode, what Xcode does for the Swift previewers, like spins up a simulator emulator behind the scenes there in general. Um, I guess you could do it on your device too. I think you've asked in the chat many times. Have I tried Armanas on Windows ARM? Windows 11 ARM? Um, well, there's not support yet. There is support for Visual Studio and several workloads on ARM Windows devices, uh, but not the Dynamo workload yet. It's something that the team's gonna work on when you know it's the right time. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Uh, bu -bu 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 computer, computer. Okay, all the chat up and running over here. Oh, 100 people. I love 100 people. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. If we remember, so this application is my little conference app. Let's run it and let's see what it looks like here. And there's a few things like they did add a bunch of desktop support. And the thing I'm really excited for is actually is actually um, um, not only you know, the workloads, blah, 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 I got maps. That's cool. We'll definitely take a look at that. 
but then also desktop support. So like this kind of like context menu, which I think is awesome. I definitely want to add, I'm assuming I can add it in places. I, I don't really know. But I also want, you know, tool tips or gestures. I think like a cool hover gesture would be nice. But then um, they also have the ability to like set the window width and height and and mix it and man minimum and maximum and all that stuff. So that'd be kind of cool. Cool. All right. So here's the app. And it's just using you know a bunch of dummy data right now. And we actually I did a video recently on how we created this live these little cards, which is kind of cool. Should be totally good to go. Um, so we have like the sponsors, the stuff over here, day one, boop, uh, cool. So I figured we could try even add a maps tab over here, which would be kind of nice too. So it'd be kind of cool. Um, there, uh, if you have an uh, app on the Mac with Donet 7, can you downgrade it to Donet 6? Well, I mean, you just need Donet 6 installed on your machine. So for example, here's what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and see how everything in this target framework is set to Donet 6. Oh, share a link to the conference app. Uh, Aiden or someone could probably get it from my, my it's on my GitHub. Just search conference, github.com forward slash James Montemagno. It's there. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to seven. 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 I mean, this is commented out seven, but seven. And, you know, all I've done in my Visual Studio installer is you have both of them installed. So this one here, but if you tap on modify, um, thank you, Luce. Uh, you can see under my Don and Maui, boop, we have myself Xamarin installed. We have IntelliCode installed individual components. We have the .NET, uh, seven preview right there. Cause it's actually release candidate, but it's there. Yeah, let's go. Cool. So ideally if I just save this, um, we should see all of the you know stuff over here update so now we have our dependencies of dotnet 7 right there should be cool to actually like did that did that actually do the thing on the screen that i wanted it to do there we go i don't know someone asked why is there no data grid because data grid is not a native control you'd have to go and like create that there's tons of companies that have done that though so you can find a data grid on the internet for it not every control is built into dotnet maui Oh, I don't know anything about X plus plus. I don't know. Um, so anyways, yeah, we just upgraded to Dynet seven. That's cool. Done. So let's see if it works though. <laughs> uh, okay. So this, I think I do need to do this. I need to do a clean. I'm going to, if I read, I'm going to do it on the, on here. Let's do a clean. Uh, Blue, I'm just gonna call you blue in the chat. It says upgrade to Xcode 14, install Xcode 13.41. Yeah, uninstall Xcode 14. There's a there's a whole, let me, let me post the article here. There's a whole thread on it. Uh, it doesn't have support for Xcode 14 yet. So you definitely wanna just in, keep 13. But I, just, I literally just did a video on how you can use the app called Xcodes to um, install another version. So get you up and running real quick. So I did read the blog post. David says, delete those bin and OBJ, clean it out, do the things. It's deleting. We're going to delete. Ooh. Okay, I should probably close it, huh? Let's close it. Let's try again. Okay, cool. And then let's open it. Boom. GA date for Don at 7? Well, Don at Maui is already GA. Um... But for .NET 7, that would be November at .NET Conf. Someone drop a .NET Conf thing in there. Every November, there's a new version of .NET. Every November. You always know, Ninja. Okay. So if this works, I'll be very happy because um, it would just work. Now, additionally, we could have just created a, a new version, a new app, right? So if you go into... Um, I'm not gonna break the app, the bin and OBJ. <laughs> you might have to rebuild. It's gonna it's gonna delete all the stuff, so you're gonna need to like redo stuff. It shouldn't all up do stuff, but yeah. So when you go create a new app, you'll see in here I have done at six and done at seven, so it knows what's installed there. So let's see. See now all of our dependencies are re-resolving, so I start to go download and re-go do stuff. There's all these things going on here. Ooh, look at all these things. It's cool. 
And I also saw that a lot of people, like sometimes you have to rebuild the solution, not the project, especially if you're on the Mac. Okay, let's see if this, let's see if this is working. Did you just, did you just, Anthony asked, did you just press clean and that deletes it for you? Well, when you clean the solution, it doesn't necessarily delete the bin in OBJ files or all of them necessarily. So sometimes it's always best to do that. You can hit this little show file button in here and then um, that will like show you if there, I don't actually know it doesn't show me all my bin in OBJ files. That's weird. It should show, I guess maybe I haven't. This should do it. Let's see. I guess it's building. Yeah, I deleted it from Explorer. So I just like open, open this in Explorer. And then I went into here and then I just like deleted the bin and OBJ folders all up. So they wouldn't be there like if you went on a, you know, a, 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 a f brand new file new. Oh, my machine machine's crunching. It's crunching hard. So all we've done so far is just updated this here. We'll see. Oh, there you go. Aiden says if you're running tweaks, it gives you an option. I think I am running tweaks. Do I have it installed? Let's see. Oh, the other thing I totally need to install while we're here, it's called Rainbow. Um, Rainbow braces. I haven't installed on all my things, but we're here. I'm gonna I'm gonna install just because I think it'll just make everything prettier in general. Yeah. Yeah, the bin and OBJ files, they're always, they're just, sometimes there's a bunch of stuff in there that it's like, it doesn't know. It's like, oh, I think I've deleted, like, I've deleted stuff that the build needs, but not like the build artifacts. And that's the stuff that can kind of get in the way sometimes because those build artifacts can be generated. And then that's when you kind of run into some issues. So whenever in doubt, you can do that. I mean, the system's gotten really good. Um, in general of, of trying to know when to delete and do that stuff. But like here I'm like literally upgrading a major version. So that makes a lot of sense. Like, oh, okay. There's like a bunch of old .NET 6 artifacts maybe running around. So always good practice. I was still going to update this ahead of time, but then I didn't. So there we go. Cool. All right. Let's actually open. All right, James, 17 minutes and we got this. We got this. Okay. What's new? All the stuff. Bum, bum, bum. I'm a big fan of this new what's new tab as well. I don't know how to get to it later. There must be like tools, what's new or something like that. Maybe. Okay. Here we go. Cool. All right. So, all right, let's see. I also want to open awesome font. Awesome. I think I want to in, get a map over here too. Do I still use Windows 10? No, my machine just can't update to Windows 11. This main main desktop, but on my uh, laptop, I have a Surface Laptop 4, which is my travel rig um, when I'm out and about. And that one is there. Okay, so I need to, yes, uninstall that and reinstall this. So I would update this to Windows 11 if I could, but I can't. But I'm in the process. It's a very, it's a really old machine. So it's an older, it's a, you know, the processor is a sixth gen Intel. So pretty old. Um, okay, let's look at our icons. Oh, everything seems to be working. Amazing. So let's, let's grab this um, from it. How do I get, where are my filters at? Free. I'm just gonna make sure I get map. Download the SVG, that's my new favorite thing. I'm just gonna call it a tab underscore map. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and stop that. And I'm going to go into resources, images. Let's add an existing item in my downloads. Let's save you all. Cool. And then let's add, let's see if we can add a map over here, which is cool. 
Uh, Surface Laptop 4 is x86. The only ARM devices out there, there's like Surface, uh, Surface X, but as well. But my Surface Laptop 4, I have like a fully specced out, which is pretty nice. Okay, so I need to, I need to install a NuGet, it says. Okay, so let's install the Maps NuGet. So it's, it's always interesting they do it that way. Let's try try this out. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna install the the Nugget Microsoft Maui controls maps. Ideally, okay. Uh, okay. No, okay. Oh, right. Did it install? It did install. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. So we have that. Then let's add a, why is there a bunch of stuff here? I don't want that. I don't want that stuff in there. All right. Let's, let's add a new page. Let's do new item. And then let's do a new page here. I'll call this map page. And then let us, okay, let's go into our Maui program. It says I need to do using dot use Maui maps. Okay. And that must be in a new namespace. Nope. It's not in a new namespace. It's inside of, well, it's just there. Okay. Cool. So we, we register it. So it's kind of extended. So if you have controls, probably going to do a bunch of stuff behind the hood. That's cool. All right. Then let's see. Uh, Project Volterra. I mean, I don't know if is Project Volterra out yet. I don't know. So let's do map. And then let's also put it into our shell here. Map. Map, map, map page. Tab underscore map. There we go. What would be the performance effects of installing too many packages on a project? No, I mean, none, probably. I mean, your app size, I guess, not performance, though. If the NuGets are slow, I don't know. If you don't know. Yeah, no, no real issue installing a bunch of NuGets at all. Like, And again, the linker is in there, too, so it's going to... Um, it's going to go ahead and, and, uh, automatically do stuff and remove stuff, uh, which is nice. Um, okay. So let's look up Techorama, which is in Utrecht. a lot long okay so it's going to be this here so i'm just going to copy code around because that's what uh that's what we did override on navigate it to is that what let's see let's see if that works there so pretty much okay this is cool so let's see what we got we have a new let's do rename location cool and then let's put in the Netherlands one. Interesting. So we have a new map span. Of course, we're going to use var. Come on now. So we have map span from. So map span is part of this Microsoft Maui maps. That's cool. Let's see what else is in uh, map span here. Let's do 220 here. We got map span dot. And there's from center and radius. Okay. That's, that's all you got. One helper. Okay, cool. So I guess you could do var te test equals new map span. Map span gives you, yeah, latitude and longitude. Okay. But this is, oh, this is going to give you a, a zoom out. Then I guess here it'd probably also give you like, what else does our map span have? What are the properties? Map span dot, oops. It's got radius, clamp latitude, center. Latitude, degrees, radius, width, zoom. Okay, so this map span basically is going to control 
what we want to see on the map. And then it's going to move to this region. And it's going to add a pin. That's cool. What else can I do on the map? I can do map dot. I can do, I can, okay, I can do a bunch of stuff. Background, background color, behaviors, bounds, clip. Okay, I can yeah, just do normal stuff. Is there, um, input is enabled, is scrolling, is traffic enabled? Okay, here we go. There's, is traffic enabled? We have is zoom enabled. Okay. Map elements. Ooh. Map type. So I could do, I could do like map. I guess I could do that in the code too. In the, I'm sure let's see if there's what's on here. So it's hybrid satellite. Let's do satellite. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, I'm assuming that you can also, I think they said that you can actually draw stuff too. I don't know if there's docs for maps at all yet. Is there? Let's see. I doubt it because it just came out, but no, just maps. Uh. So I think what I want to do here is let's do a grid and then I would do a, um, let's do a row definitions and let's do this and let's do auto. And then let's do a, a button and then do text and we'll say navigate, right? That'd be kind of cool. And then I could do center or the center of that, I guess. And then we'll do grid dot row one. Let's just give this a little margin of you know, 10, maybe just give that a little pad in there. And then let's literally do a click event. There we go. Cool. Let's just do that. Let's see what that takes us. Cool. How do you make a custom pin? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. And on our page code behind, I'm assuming that there's like a, uh, <clears throat> I'm also going to just move this location up here to bar location, location. There we go. Cool. Let's do that. Uh, let's see. Map, map dot pins. Pin. Let's see what else do we have in here we have gesture recognizer frame let's see you mark good morning what is this good to see you as well so is traffic enabled we got map elements i'm assuming map elements it's a map elements i don't know what a map element is but that is ex <laughs> that is exciting uh let's see navigation that's the navigation of the page pins so there's the pins it's just a pin so if you did the real question ends up becoming if you did like well pin is a pin and this is a pin and i list a pin let's see what pin is the question is can you do that is an i map pin which is a Element. Okay, there you go. So there's an IMAP pin. So I think you would just um, create a custom IMAP pin, basically. I think. I think that's what you do. It's I element. I think that's all you need to do. Why well, it's using Maui device sensors? That's interesting. Anyways, let's see if it. Oh, I just need to implement that that click. So here I do async maps oops maps dot uh, was it map dot ooh that's interesting <clears throat> map dot open async there we go let me give it a new what can i give it Oh, my IntelliSense is kind of going weird. Async. Yeah, so here what you need to do is you need, I'm going to need to do a 
alias it. Let's just alias application model map. It's a little bit tricky. Let's say open map. And then I'm going to do open map dot open async. Try open async. Let's just try that. It's going to take a new location. So I can give it a location. And then I can give it new map launch options. Let's give it that. And then I can say name, and I'll say Techorama. What theme do I use? The default one? Let's do, let's do none for now. Let's just do none on the, cool. All right, let's see if this works. Uh, let's see, we got some questions. Bup, 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 bup. The app size. Well, I, don't know, I haven't seen really any issues with app size in general. I mean, iOS will be a little bit bigger. Whoa. Swap, thanks for the subscription. Thanks for coming in. Bum, bum. Um, uh, when? Uh, I also need to fix the size here. Ooh, see, we got a map tab right there. Cool. All right, let's see. Oh, no. Oh, that didn't work. Maybe I didn't do something. Uh oh. I got a crash. What did I do? Hmm. I don't know what I did. Canvas. Modules optimized. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Let's try it on Android, maybe. I don't know if I need to do anything else either. Oh, I totally also deleted all my Android emulators the other day. Don't ask me why, but I totally did. I was like, I'm just going to delete all my Android emulators because I want to. Let's do API 13. Okay, let's do that. I was like, I'm just going to delete everything. Why not? So let's see what this does. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I think you can. I think, you, I think you can make a custom pin. I haven't seen anything yet. There is a repo which is github.com slash dot net slash Maui samples. Let's see right here. Let's see here. There's this map. Let's see if let's see if I did anything. Did I miss anything? Use Maui maps. Okay. Okay. I was like, did I, maybe I missed doing something. Okay, we updated that. I don't know what this is. Hmm. Mm -hmm. well, that looks correct. Oh, that's literally a sample, so we should be good there. Oh. <laughs> Silly Gerald. Okay, it's downloading still. Let's see what other chats we got in here. Do 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 do. Uh, does the Android Xamarin preview work with Maui? No, there's a whole um. Oh, I don't know if it does. I don't think I have the, the profiler installed. Um. Um, github.com slash Xamarin slash like Android. Oh, I can't see it because um, I'm logged in because I work at Microsoft. That's why. Let's see here. There's Android. <clears throat> There's a whole article wiki on profiling apps. Profile. I think it's like, I think it's like a whole thing on like profiling stuff. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. How does it look in here? Let's see. Oh, here we go. There's literally a whole article on it right here. There you go. Oh, it's on the Maui one. That makes way more sense. Boom. Uh, let's see. Let's see if this, I don't know why this didn't work my conference. 
Maybe the version of the machine I'm on were there. <clears throat> oh, Christian, glad that helped. Yep, there you go. It's right there. Um, I don't think it is because I think it's only in the. I don't think my. I don't think there's a. I don't think the profiler is installed. I don't think so now. Uh, Windows support is there. I mean, it's in the image that we have. That's right here. I think the Windows support is doesn't have a native control currently. Um. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Uh, oh, they're working on it. Hmm. Well, that makes sense then. Well, that makes sense then. Hmm. Hmm. Well then. Whoa, thanks for the subscription. All right, let's try it on Android then. Dun, dun, dun. Now that I have my emulator up and running. Ooh, there it is. Well, that makes sense. That wasn't 100% clear, David. That wasn't 100% clear. I see. To fill the gap, we have created a web view implementation and an open proposal on the community toolkit. Uh, okay, so they didn't add it into the thing. That makes sense. So there has to be some backwards compatibility stuff there, basically. So you, what you'd want to do then in that case is you want to have like a... Um, in the app shell, you'd probably want to have like a on. Uh, I think you just do on platform. And you can say like Android, iOS, Mac. Does that actually work? I'm actually positive it does. I think it does. Doesn't it? I'm not actually sure. I don't think that actually works. Let's a double check. That's good to know. Okay, is my emulator running? It is running. Woo. Okay. The other thing is I'm not actually sure, like, do you have to do anything for Android anymore? Like, usually back in the day, the maps were, like, really terrible to work with. Yeah. Uh, well, the maps, the difference is, like, um, okay. Uh, the difference is on the Monkey app, we use the, we use the, uh map api that's different there's a map api to open the map this is embedding a map control in there yes um andy yes those are the nano leaf elements um behind me yeah they're pretty good i have a two pack of them they seem to work well uh in general um they're a little expensive though you know be honest with you so it depends as long as you don't want the 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 crazy you know rgb type of stuff then you're you're totally good i like them it, it's a nice design they have just hues of yellows and um hues of yellow and white basically so as long as you don't want rgb stuff then you're totally good to go so all right let's see this is gonna build so we're we've updated i should have read the instructions that makes sense but we'll do some windows stuff because i really want to add in the this stuff this this menu layout here on each item i think that should work oh that'd be cool yeah, they're really nice. I mean, they're nice. The the, the you know the nano leaf stuff is solid in general. So, um, you know, but a little expensive. And the apps are okay. You can see my machine is crunching currently. It's like let's do this. Do do. But yes. Uh, S man, that is what I used in general between those. So I can change this to like more of a, let's do a, let's do that. There you go, another little bit like white, white hues. I think, do I need to do anything? I'm, I'm pretty sure. 
All right, if I go into Android, like, do I need to go register anything? For maps are always complicated. I'm just gonna double check here on the on the maps properties. No, not properties. Platforms. Android. Manifest. Aha. I knew it. I don't think the maps are gonna work either. I think the maps are gonna. I think the maps are gonna be mad at me. Cause I think you need to add this here. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I added maps. I just shouldn't have added maps, basically, is what I shouldn't have started with, because maps are the worst. <laughs> Let's just be honest about it. All right, well, it's it's here. The app is app is working. Is the map going to actually do anything? No, it's going to be mad at me. Yeah, okay, so, oh, look at that. It needs to add your manifest into your key. Ah, maps. Okay, well, let's do it. And the question is, how do I get a map API key? Platforms, Android, manifest. Okay, so it goes inside of here. And then he has all these permissions. Well, I don't know if we get those permissions anymore, sir. Okay, I need my. I need to get a, a Google Maps API key. Android. Let's see if I can go over here and not show my stuff. Oh, I need to create a new app. Oh, geez. Okay, I'm gonna create a new app. I'm gonna call it. My conference. And I'm gonna browse, no organization. It's gonna create it. And then what I need to do, create credentials, API. Google Maps platform credentials. This actually isn't that isn't that hard to be honest with you. Okay. Uh, create credentials, API key. It's creating an API key. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna hide my screen. How do I hide my screen? Is it this button? It is that button. It is this button. Okay. Let's see. See, if I just did it on iOS, it'd been great. Because <laughs> you don't need anything. Is it possible to use Facebook Firebase Analytics? I wouldn't see why not, as long as the bindings are there. That should totally work. Well, I think for maps, um, I mean, that's not really a Maui problem. That's every Android application ever problem. So is there API key is free, but I think on Android, I think it's free in general for maps. I think you're thinking about the web one. I think that's different. Hey, we got a map. We have a map, but it's not visible. I assume I need to give it something. Or maybe it hasn't registered yet. Well, we have a map control, so that's good. And I say, oh, I need to say Android app. There we go. I need to run. So you need to give it a debug key. You need to actually give it a... Okay, okay, so I can hit don't restrict key. That's good. And then probably I can hit navigate. That's gonna actually, I guess I don't have the maps app installed. So that's actually is gonna navigate there. That should do it. Let's see. That actually wasn't too bad to create an eight. It used to be a lot 
worse. But it should work unrestricted now. Let's see. Depends if the back end is updating or not or doing stuff. Well, I wonder if this is actually getting hit too. If I remember. I think I think that on navigate, is that still broken? That could be that could be a bug. I think that was a bug in an ant. No, I thought that worked. Let's double check. Let's check my output. I agree. Okay, so that does get hit. That's good. It could just literally be waiting for the back end. So authorization failure console. Ensure that this is enabled. Okay, so cool. Thanks. It just gives me that. Uh huh. Oh, that's cool. It actually gives me the fingerprint. That's cool. I think I did it unrestricted though. Uh huh. I like how I just I'm gonna restrict that key anyways, but sure. Uh, this gives me a thing. Okay. Oh. Uh. Let me double check here. It's definitely the API key. Oh no, it's a different API key. Oh, no, it's the same API key. Android apps. Okay. Android. Do I need? I turned it on. APIs. Click close. Maps SDK for Android. Enable. I need to enable it. Cool. Okay, I've now enabled the API in the Google portal. Okay, that's important. Hey, we did it. All right, that wasn't that bad. We did it. We got maps, people. We did it. Whew. Not too bad. So that's it. I just need to enable the API, which is great. I don't know why there's not um, probably like stuff. I should actually put the real point. But then here we got a point. We got welcome to Dynamo. Out. Whoa, cool. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that this this um, try open is not working either. Oh, you know why? It's because for it to actually be able to open those maps, I need to go into my platform integration. There we go. I need to actually add a little bit of source code here. There we go. Silly James. Uh, I need to add these queries nodes to the manifest. So good old Android. There we go. That should not work. Oh, I wonder if I I definitely added that for the, the monkey one. Yeah, that's for sure. Cool. So this is kind of like what we had done before. Good, yeah, good game. We did it. We did it. Yeah, we just read the output just like Tom said to do. So that's good. So that's good to know about Windows. So in general, but I'll probably have to remove that from, from it in general. So that's that's good to know. Good to know. We got a map. We got a thing. I think David was saying that you can totally like draw on it and do a bunch of stuff. That's what he said. Yeah, I think he said you could totally do it. So now we say navigate. That totally opens. It navigates us to so like the point on the thing. Amazing. That's good. So this should be not welcome to it should be tech Rama. There's a few things. Um, one, also there's an amazing control called Maps UI. If you've ever seen that um, as well, this is pretty amazing. It supports like everything ever. Um, and you can do pretty much anything. It uses like open maps and app box stuff like that i'll put that in there so if like there's stuff that the built-in one doesn't do then definitely give that a look and that has yeah down at maui support too so you don't even if you need down at six you're totally good there how can you prompt to select the app before navigating um if there's multiple map apps on the device it would it would navigate and ask you there true dot thank you so much for the subscription um, I don't know. I'm waiting for the API everything to, to see how to do it. I'm assuming that there's 
there's map dot well not pins but i think what you would want is I don't know, let's see visible region no, it's not vertical options visual let's see um it should ask if in general i think on there i think if it has google maps it uses google maps i'd have to look at the implementation on android And the application has to support the geo property to launch. I think map elements is what you want. So if I do add, I do new map element. Okay, here we go. There is a map element and there's like stroke properties and other things on it. So my assumption is that you could do like that. And then there would be different things. I'm not sure on it. Whoa, Prometheus, thank you so much for the tip. I appreciate that. Yeah, I think that basically it'd be something in here with these map elements in general. Let's see what map. Yeah, here we go. Because there's so the IMAP element inside of here gives you strokes basically that you can do. So that's what you do. You add map elements literally. That's what that's what would be there. So it's amazing. So amazing. So amazing. Thank you so much. Um on Apple, I think it just always uses Apple Maps because it uses the built-in API. You would want to use the launcher if you wanted to do that some other way. Yeah. I'm not sure on the pins. I think there is an I pin implementation. So I think that's just the default. You'd have to implement it yourself. Probably I'd head to the repo and I bet that the team has a bunch of stuff there. So we'll see. All right, I wanna add one more thing over here because what I wanted to do is on the Windows app, um, which is, where is it at? Here we go. What I wanted to do is on the, I wanna see if this works. What I'd love to do is on the, here let's see i want to do override on her it's not in this in here it's gonna be in the app i'm gonna do two things i'm gonna do first first do window create window I think, I think that this is the default. So I think this happens when the window gets created. I'm pretty sure. And then I think what we want to do is, it would, sure would be great to, let's see here. I'm going to copy his code in here and see. Or do I just have access to, oh, I do just have access to window. No, that's it. You need to actually get the window. Let's see if he does a window. I think I said like if it's a device idiom, maybe. Mm -hmm. And uh, device info uh, equals dot desktop, probably in here. And then, probably what I'd want to do is so x, y position, and min, max are here. 
I don't think I want to set the new width, new height. This would center it on the screen. That's cool. I think what I want to do is I, I think I just want to set like, can I just set like min, minimum min width? And I think I'd want to be like, oh, it's 400 by like, Not 400 or something. And then can I set like a maximum? Like maybe maximum is like 1920. And then maximum height would be like 1080. I mean, you'd really be like restrictive. I'm also curious if like that work. Oh, that's not what I want. Let's see this here. Windows. Boop. I think that I think this works. Because on on my machine, I have an ultra wide, right? So I probably want to actually you know restrict that a little bit there, which would be pretty nice. Let's see how this works. Uh, oh, whoops. I want to return this window always. There we go. Cool. Good catch, compiler. Be a good one. Do you have any problems with Visual Studio 2022? Nope, not yet. Yeah, I have some in the preview if I'm working on some of my crazy libraries, but not too much there. Let's see if this works. This be this should work. Question mark. Yeah, because before it was a lot bigger. So here, I can't make it any bigger than this. Ah, that's nice. Okay, cool. So I can't make it any. So I can't like make it a lot bigger. I could. I could max. I can't even if I maximize it. Maximum is there. That's fascinating. I need to think about that in general. What I would do there. Hmm. All right, let me try something else. That's good, because then you can only make it 400 by 400. I guess that's min. Is that 400 by 400? I don't know. It looks a little bit smaller than that, but we'll see. Okay, I want to try one more thing, which is inside of our pages and our schedule. What I really want to do, I'm very curious about it, is if this will work. So I want to do a, let's see here. You right click what I would want to do is like on the is it the which one am I on schedule that's the header okay on this I think what I want to do is say can I on this border do fly out base dot context fly out menu fly out then I'm going to create some menu items text and I'll say favorite and then maybe like add to calendar and then let's do more info I think I might need to refresh it let's see if this works I'm kind of interested in this flyout menu because it should give me a flyout option are you gonna add icons in it question mark whoa hey look at that wow cool can you see that that's so cool look at that whoa that is neat look at that that's cool and i'm curious too i wonder can i add a what if i added a uh you know onto this vertical stack layout or onto this thing. Can I add a, can I add a, uh, what's this other new property? It's a tooltip dot text. And then I wonder if I can do like a binding to a description. That'd be kind of cool. Let's see if that works. I'm not actually sure if it's gonna load or not because it is probably Let's see if that works. The tooltip property. It probably needs to, I don't know if it would be fascinating to see if that works as well. That'd be kind of cool. Can I set the source of the map? Uh, I think so. I wouldn't see why not. Hey, oh, cool. There you go. You get the full description now. Whoa, that's neat. 
So now we get this full thing in here. That's nice. Tool tip. Look at that. Hey, Dax, any scrim? Good to see you. Unity is awesome. I don't know what's wrong with Unity. I have tons of people that make games all the time in Unity. A little tool tip. I don't know if you'd want the tool tip like that necessarily, but I like this. More info. Whoa, so cool. I love that. So those are nice little, nice little tidbits in there that are good. We got the maps working. We got those in there. I'm going to create it down at seven branch. I need to remove my API key though. That's for sure. Am I missing anything else in here? So that's good. Oh, it's nine o'clock. I got to go. I got to go. It's a thing. I'm right on the dot here. We added a bunch of, we have gestures though. Man, I definitely want to add some, uh, some pointing and clicking gestures, some hover gestures. Ooh, that'd be so cool. Look at that. I really want to get into the desktop stuff a lot more because of my stream timer. I want to upgrade that to, to dot in Maui there. So we're totally good to go. Whoa, amazing. All right, so, so far what we did, we added maps. Well, not there, but we added maps over here. So we got maps running on there, dot net, boom. A lot of people ask me why they didn't see the logo. I think in debug, it doesn't, there's something there. So we got this, we got the try navigate. So you can actually open that up, see it there, which is nice, boom. Um, so if you want to navigate to the place and then we also came in and we added these right click menus, super duper cool. And we like scratch the surface. There's a bunch more in there, which is cool. So see what's in there. Um, let's see if I have anything else. I would think unity is a lot better for targeting. Well, for games, for game development. Yeah. If you're doing a lot of game development, you do a lot of other stuff too. 3d stuff, stuff like that. Yeah. That's what it's for. It's different. Uh, on navigated args are internal. Not positive. I think Shell handles the stuff automatically. I'd have to ask though. Cool. All right. We're going to wrap it up over here because I got to go. I'll push this code out later. I'm going to, well, actually, I can do this. Let me do a, I'm going to remove my Android API key, even though it's been completely visible on this stream, which is great. So let's go ahead and remove this. I'm going to do a new branch.net seven. Bring them. Add maps and desktop features. Cool. I'm going to push that out to the internet and we'll be good to go. Anyways, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, jam that subscribe button. I put out videos right here every single week on the YouTube tips, tricks, walkthroughs, all sorts of good stuff. I also have membership as well. Next week, I believe I'm going to do a members only stream, just kind of Q&A, 30 minutes, kind of hang out. So definitely grab onto that if you want. Um, that just goes into me doing this in my spare time. These are my mornings. I got to go to work. Oh my gosh, it's work time. All right, everyone. Thanks so much. Uh, have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.